systems are doing it for themselves. Hello everybody and welcome to my first attempt at a video to help people. No, I'm not going to teach you how to sing, thankfully. Um, I've not done anything like this before, it is very new ground, so I do hope that you find this useful. Um, and if there are any critical comments, by all means, I live for critical comments. People saying it's lovely makes me happy. People saying it's rubbish makes me happier because I go and troll them. Um, but if someone can say, hey, I think you should try this next time or do that, then by all means, drop me a message and tell me how to do this better. And I'll get better and then things will be better because better is good. Better is gooder. -er. Better is gooder. -er. So... What am I waffling on about? Babbling on about? What am I talking about? Well, I want to talk about today um, systems you can put in place, or the system I at least have in place, for producing promotional materials um, faster. So I use Photoshop. So obviously the when it comes to how I do this it might not completely apply to you but hopefully you can see it and think well actually I could do something like this in the programs I work in the uh, Canva comes up a lot I believe it's it's pronounced I've never used it and I need to give it a go so I can understand it better when people say oh, I'm going to put your stuff into Canva I'm like yeah go, go for it cool so um I, in a unique position, um, a lot of illustrators I know are very creative. Obviously, I am too. They think weird. I think weird. Weird is good. It's different. It's it's finding creative solutions to problems. Um, uh, the only thing is, is that most of them are also not really into logical stuff. Where I do like logical patterns. There's something about like taking something and being able to slot it into things that just makes my brain happy and any time I have to do something over and over again I am like well I want to cut this down so I start to look at it and I develop a system to try and help me fix that now you may have seen some of my promotional work before like little little adverts that come up just to announce all sorts of different things and that's what I'm going to be uh, showing you how I do it uh, today. Um, now, I haven't got a script. I literally have notes. So if every now and again I'm stumbling over what I'm saying, it is literally just because I'm like, oh, I maybe should write a script, but I'm not very good with scripts either because I start to talk like a robot and it is far less entertaining because I just talk like this um so i'm hoping this helps again any critical feedback let me know and on that note let's start so um here's photoshop uh for those people who've never seen photoshop or don't really have much of ex any experience in it obviously it's basically a digital package for producing images of all kinds um uh, i always have found the irony that um photoshop is easier for drawing in than illustrator what's another adobe package um illustrator creates much more crisp lines because it's a vector package and listen to all the babble <laughs> all of this technical stuff means nothing does it i'm gonna try and not be technical um I'm going to do my best, but if, if I do at any point say something and you're like, I have no idea what he's talking about, please ask and I'll try my best to explain. Um, I know one of the things I sometimes struggle with when it comes to things that are not arty is someone will say, oh yeah, the thing. And I'll be like, what thing? What What's that? And it's just part of the language. So I will say things. If you don't get it, then that's not a problem. Just message me. I will fill you in. So... Photoshop works in layers and we have all of these different types of layers here. Now, I've always described it as if you're as old as me, 
You might remember overhead projectors in school and they would lay it to light and it would shine upwards into a mirror what then shone on the wall and you know things would be put on acetate sheets they would be laid acetate is that right uh, see-through sheets clear clear sheets and you know there'd be for me it was hymn lyrics and it could be projected an a4 sheet could be projected onto a wall and you could read the the hymns and sing along with them and they'd be used for lessons and all sorts now there are digital screens and digital whiteboards and everything oh the kids these days they don't know anything but the way i always describe photoshop layers is that's how they work this i have not drawn these gray squares this is the transparent layer it just exists it doesn't have any effect on your work even if you try to save uh, a file like a jpeg what everyone's probably used to it will usually blank it out white so i've started from here so this is how I produce my adverts. Um, so everything, I've tried to color code so you can sort of see it a little bit better, but here is our layers. And the first thing I was gonna talk about is backgrounds. Now when it comes to backgrounds, I obviously have very basic ones. And rather than have to make these uh, time and time again, these are all just copies and I've altered the color. And depending on the mood or depending on whatever it is I'm trying to promote, like obviously, Usually when I do red bubble, I tend to just go all red. Very shocking. Catches the eye. Uh, teal is one of my favorite colors. I love greeny blues. So I tend to exist around these colors. Um, then there are all sorts of other funky things. Like I have grungy, weird backgrounds. Yeah. Um, even extreme space backgrounds. Um, and then I can do funky things as well but really that it, it this one's all just about mood and how you want to sell it so i can do fades where you have part of one showing through these are just all things i've created along the way and every time i have an idea and it needs something new i just create it but for today we're just gonna have what i call the coffee background really simple just nice color and yeah um so as well as the background images. Now, one thing I've noticed, like when it comes to Facebook, is they often have like a pattern in the background, some sort of images going on. I wanted to replicate that, but I didn't want them to be over the top because that's loads of work. So, again, these are all my objects. Now, I switch them on. You can sort of see I've got ooh, two on at once. I've got skulls and crossbones for pirates, uh, Pokeball, Triforce. And the way I've created these, these have a layer effect. And no matter what color is behind, they actually um, sort of blend in. So I don't have to sit trying to alter colors either. They literally just change to whatever color is underneath. So they're just like a, a shadow. Um, now, I'm not going to be using an object for this one. I tend to use the, uh, the coffee bean one. Um, for my own amusement um there are all sorts you can have there but again these are just extras that i have created now the reason that they're important is like if i had ask a question i often drop the question marks in um obviously for red bubble sort of events i can stick red bubble in um that's for my own amusement so you can have all these backgrounds set up you can um get your own backgrounds and things like that and then they're there i don't have to keep recreating them or going to find them they're all just there and ready to use so that's the background and object layers now obviously you're going to need text now you might not be able to see it but on this text there's like a little lock sign so i'm just going to bring that up and obviously i've got my font style i've got layer effects everything is set up and ready to go all i need to do is type into it but i have um locks on these because the one thing is is you don't want to keep changing it and then you forget the original settings so as a sort of backup i have this one i cannot delete this layer it doesn't throw up an error when i try to delete it but i can't alter it usually there we go you try to alter it but it's locked and that way 
I I've always got the original font. So if I alter the other ones again and again and again, it's there. Having those things set up means that I'm not having to constantly retype things out or having to add different effects. All the things that I want to do are just there. Now, if I do want to alter the text in some funky way, I can. I can mess around with it to high high heavens and it, I'll always have that original layer there. Now, one of the other things is, is always having some sort of link back to where people can obviously get in contact. And because this is a separate layer, again, it's always just floating there. So I don't need to worry about it. Now I created this piece of text and then I'm ready to go with that. Now, obviously, if you've seen me around like uh, coaching for geeks on Facebook or you've been to any of my pages, you'll probably recognize my cat tires, who is my logo. Again, he's set up to just be floating there. He's in the same place. I think the only other thing I've got is an alternative one of him all snuggled up um but i've not found a use for it yet it is just an alternative version that i made and then never got around to using um but obviously again it's something that links back to you and is very visibly your thing so it's always there so right now all my promotions will look the same so hopefully that means that people will latch onto them and recognize them now the reason that i don't use some of the facebook uh, ones that are out there and I know people use them there's nothing wrong with that again they're time saving they're great um, but this means that mine stand out and look a little different to what is out there um, uh, people who use the Facebook avatars they have all uh, these same poses they have all the same backgrounds uh, where obviously I have a choice of backgrounds and anytime I think oh I need a new one I make a note of it and I, I I create it and again it doesn't take that much time to add little bits and pieces but it means that I'm never once I've got it I can use it as many times as I want so at the minute we've got our text we've got you know our visible address and we've got a nice logo going on so what it comes down to next is something I just need to drop well, actually, no, we'll go for the for this one first. So, obviously, you are very used now to seeing the little me's everywhere. Well, hopefully, because I use them in everything. Um, where's Cheer? So, Cheer's the one I use the most. He's the bog standard little avatar of myself. And obviously, he's happy and joyful, and he's sort of drawing you in. The only other one I use just as often as him is Puzzled. Because I find they're usually the two states I'm in. I'm either really excited to show you some new piece of art or I am confused or asking you a question or just posing some idea. So those two work. But as you can see, every single red layer is something that covers that bit. And I can basically just make them invisible and make them appear. Now, the pirate one, as you can see, has more to it than just the avatar. There's a nice little booty box and there's a little ship added in there these are just all things i've created and even more so the pirate ship is an emoji what i created for twitch users and the the box itself of dice is a t-shirt pattern um on redbubble so it's just repurposing those things from other art so they you know they've they had their time they've got drawn and they're getting reused what's always a good thing if you can repurpose something into your advertising it's just more link backs to yourself hey this is what i do this is how i draw so the pirate's a bit more complicated i don't think there's any any more like that one of my other favorite ones is uh bob ross i find him quite inspirational <laughs> as an as an artist and you know his his technique is very interesting because you're basically in in a 45 minute show can paint a landscape and there's probably people who spend hours outdoors trying to get the light right and everything it's very technical do this thing get a mountain use this brush get a tree um but he's also just got some really awesome philosophies that i always kind of inspired me so i love using the bob ross one but again he also ties into art and that sort of thing and then the other one that i was loving create was all my nerdy uh, D and D ones. Where's my tiefling? Yeah, Ang angry tieflings for the win. 
or edgy tieflings for the win. So, again, these resources are there now. That's it. There, I, I don't have to think about them. Now, some of them, I have to admit, I've only used once. Uh, they've they've not come back up again. Um, I th let's see, what's a great example of one that probably has appeared once and then vanished and never been used? Oh, I can't see one. Oh, um, uh, there was a Legend of Zelda day. I'm not a. I was a. I grew up playing Sega, so Nintendo was not my thing. But I thought, well, I'll create a little Link version of myself. I created the Triforce background. What you probably saw, uh, the well, the background object. What obviously you saw before, and that was a whole theme just for uh, a day, and then not really gone back to use it again. So sometimes you know I'll create something that maybe isn't as useful as others. Um, but obviously things like zombies, um, oh, coffee me definitely gets used as well. Like I run on coffee. So, so yeah, so let's do a thing. So now we've got all of these. The only other thing, um, again, these ones are a bit more random. I guess random. Let's go with random as a word. So... <laughs> If I just turn the text off for a second, one of the other things that I do use from time to time are clip arts. Um, so just things dropped in. So again, I've got a nice big red bubble um, logo for when I'm doing anything promotional or when they have a flash sale just to sort of catch the eye because if someone wants something from red bubble and they suddenly see it, it's like, oh, I wonder, I wonder what that is. Or at least that's the hope. Um, and then things that haven't been used that often, like, um, I mean, one doesn't not simply create content, but one does repurpose it. So, a bit of Christopher Lee, because, you know, a bit of Christopher Lee in your life. So, there's all these, these, these different things. Yeah, that's enough of that. <laughs> but the clip arts are a bit different because they appear in the text, and you then have to format the text around it. What, for me, not a problem. Um, tends to be quite straightforward. So we've got our clip arts, we've got our characters. We now have um, a full sort of like promotional thing. So let's stick in, should we have a cheer? I mean, it's very brown. <laughs> Everything's very brown. Um, it does seem like I'm asking a question. So no, let's, let's go for our puzzled. And maybe we will change the background color. Oh, wait, let's turn the coffee off. Plum. Lavender. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. So, yeah, let's go with that. So, we now have our promotional piece. That's it. Now, I could change that and it will take less than two minutes. The longest part is typing up what you want in there and also typing up the copy that appears in underneath you know in the comment section as well um sort of with links or details of what you're talking about so really that's my system and it helped a while back when there was a flash sale on redbubble and i wanted to create a lot of redbubble advertisements as fast as possible and because i had this set up it was really easy the other bonus is i do suffer from bad mental health days i i will be lacking in any energy and i still have to do this i still have to create promotions i still have to do my art and the art is the most important thing obviously so if i'm wasting time on this and wasting energy then the art won't be as good so having things like this is always a bonus to that you can you know you're feeling low you're tired and you can just sort of roll out of your bed make your promotion and roll back in now the other thing i tie this in with but i'm not going to talk about too much is i have uh, an account on sendable sendable's great because you can schedule things i literally had posts scheduled uh, a month ahead what also tied in with this system means that i spent i think three days in total on getting everything into sendable so creating the promotions posting them um, and scheduling them ready to go up 
And that meant that after that, an entire month could be just focused on random promotions or f mostly focused on getting on with some art. Um, stopping and starting, I find, is one of the um, biggest things to slowing you down. You, you're, if, if you're doing one thing and then you've got to go to another and you're thinking, oh, I'll do this and then I've got to do that and I've got to do that. Where if you spend a couple of days just getting all of this ready, even to the point that Sendable allows for repeating promotion uh repeating uh posts so you could create a, a promotion that's just going to run um and then put that up and then that could that could just run well technically forever um and you wouldn't have to worry about them again while you focused on more important things so your clients needs the things that you need to be getting on with all the bits in between i mean there are so many components um probably things i still don't even know about and i'm not doing i'm new to this this is all new to me so that is my system i hope that makes sense um and yeah uh <laughs> suddenly hit the end i suppose one thing there is to talk about is obviously as an artist i can create all of these things myself not everyone is artists, but that is where you can then hire someone like myself to come in and produce these things for you. Um, now, like I say, I don't know much about Canva, but I do work with um, uh, Mark Kington, uh, the copy father, and he himself um, uses Canva and he drops uh, various different resources into it that I produce for him. And so it can be done. So you can get someone like me to do that for you. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry it went on a bit longer than expected. I can babble for England. Um, if you'd like to ask any questions about anything in the video, please, by all means, just drop me a message. Um, if you are interested in getting some resources for yourself whether it's a little avatar or something else then by all means again contact me and we can discuss details um, um again if there's any um critical feedback you'd like to give me about the video then yes i i'm open to it i do want to get better at this sort of stuff um but before i go on any longer i better stop so thank you very much for staying to the end and i'll speak soon Bye.